go ahead and tell me your name and everything and, and what you do, how long you've been uh, strolling along in a dump bucket. Yeah, man, I've been doing a little, uh, a little, little bit. Uh, CB handle, heavy D, just out there just trying to get a nut, man, that's all. 10-4, how long have you been running for? I've been driving truck for about uh, 11 years, but uh, dump truck for about one or two years. All right, well, tell me about that setup. Just set up um, D13, Volvo, uh, turned up to about 500 horse. Uh, I try to keep it clean, I mean, uh, out here, the name of the game is the more weight you can haul, the more you make, so it's about the biggest you get right here. 10 4. Uh, so, what do you haul with it? Um, she got an aluminum body, so you can't really haul for so much. Um, nothing big like wrap or, you know, big rock, but. Other than that, man, we we towed a little bit of everything. We hauled anything from salt for the winter to sand, gravel, topsoil, you name it. We're breaking down the road. We got a couple other trucks that haul the bigger stuff that's got uh, steel dump bodies. Uh, actually, they'll be up here a little later on this evening. A 10 4, you mentioned up here, or are they going to be the, at the show? No, they're actually coming up here to get a load, and then they're going to park up here. Uh, at a truck lot and um, come over to the show, but the trucks will actually be up here. Got um, the owner has about I think it's nine trucks total now. Um, three centipedes. Um, the rest of them are usually uh, the rest of them are quints, and uh, we got um, a dump trailer, which is uh, one of the centipedes of the company. He has them fixed up pretty nice. Now, like, uh, you know, I like to put out some advice to people and whatnot. So as far as running that kind of setup here in Virginia and everything, what are some of the things that, that you'd have to be extra careful about when uh, you're hauling and, you know, loading and unloading? Um, well, her, as long as you're on level ground, just like any dump truck. But um, the problem I used to have with this one is uh, even when my axe was up, uh, we're kind of still low to the ground, so you can't really, you know, you don't have a lot of a ground clearance, so you can't get anywhere that's got a bunch of dips and dives because you do nothing but drag your axles, but uh, we take it places sometimes we shouldn't, but sometimes we don't have a choice. Yeah, I hear you. Now, uh, tell me about the company. Um, you mentioned a little bit about the company, but make sure that we get uh, some airtime for the company and the name of the company, how long they've been around and everything. Uh, JW is the owner. Um, John Wayne Allen, he's, uh, his dad had trucks back in the day, about 17 of them, and um, it's kind of, he's kind of raised up in the dump trucks, and uh, his dad gave it up, so he started doing his own thing, so he's been around for 20, 25 plus years, and um, he's a broker down in Virginia, so, well, actually down in the Seven City, so, you know, he, he's, he's pretty pretty established, man, I mean, he's a good guy, um, very lenient, and um, likes to take care of his equipment and his drivers. Well, that's good to hear, man, that's good to hear. You know, everybody's always looking for a situation where they feel at home. Yeah, with well, him, man, I mean, it's, it's, it's family-owned. Uh, I've done the corporate thing, uh, but honestly, family-owned is where it's going to be because you're not just a number there. Um, you know, they, they actually recognize the things that you do do. So uh, sometimes a pat on the back is, it, goes, it goes a long way. That's the way to go. I mean, I'm, I'm glad you're in that situation. I'm glad I ran up on you today. Uh, you know, a lot of people have been wanting me to do something with dump trucks and everything, and we happened to merge up together at the same time. I was getting off 64 there, and you're strolling up 81 here, so uh, it worked out. Yeah, man, 10-4, I, I appreciate you doing the interview, man. I, I watch a lot of your videos uh, in the evening when I'm, you know, just chilling and relaxing, and uh, 
There's some pretty bad rigs on there that you talk to. It's uh, ironic that I run, I run into you like that. So, but I'll definitely be back at the truck show. We're heading back down to Gloucester now to uh, uh, park the truck, and I'm going to come back up my pickup. Uh, maybe one of these days I'll put it on the show uh, once I get it cleaned up the way I like. We'll be seeing you soon, man. We'll be looking for you later this afternoon. You have a good ride up the road. So is that all you do for you? That's what you do full time? Yes, sir. Man, what a job there. So you pretty much just have fun all day long. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I tell people it's, it's you know, I never looked at it as a job. Yeah, I'd say it's more of a lifestyle now, you know. But I'm out here. I'd like to come out here and, and tell you guys a story and tell it the right way, you know. Yeah, brother, man. Hey, for people like you, that it gives us a voice out there. I'll be seeing you, man. I appreciate it, dude. Yes, sir. I'll be seeing you. You have a good one. You do the same. Man, I'm jealous.